December, it is Adrian, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the absolute best filters to use for holiday photos on Instagram. Exposed. For those of you who know me well by now, you know that my favorite Instagram editing app is Visco Cam, VSCO Cam. So I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite filters on Visco for different categories of holiday photos. But if you haven't downloaded Visco, which is, by the way, a free app in the App Store for iOS devices, then I'll also be showing you guys my favorite Instagram filters that are provided on the app. I've broken up the holiday photos into four categories. I have photos with a lot of green in them, photos with a lot of red in them, outdoor or non-wintery photos, like if you're from somewhere where it's kind of not wintery, like California, and indoor holiday photos slash photos at night, because I think a lot of people try to take holiday photos like at parties, but the lighting is so bad, and I'm gonna kind of show you guys how to make them look good still. So watch till the end of this video for all my tips on how to have your Instagram feed this holiday season be the most lit for litmus 2017, you get it? Or just to be able to edit your holiday Christmas card in the best way possible. Either way, you will enjoy these tips and what better way to get in the holiday spirit than talking about holiday photos and wearing a Christmas onesie. If you guys are new here, hi, I hope you guys subscribe. You can by clicking the button down below and hit the bell so that you're notified. I do post every Wednesday and Saturday. And if you didn't know, I have a behind the scenes vlog channel. So I'm actually participating in Vlogmas this year, which means that I'm uploading every single day of December until Christmas. So go ahead and check that out if you want some like behind the scenes, get to know me better. I will link it down below. I'll be doing four giveaways there and on my Instagram, which you should also follow. So as long as you are keeping up with both, you will have a lot of chances to win some awesome stuff this month. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the first category category is for photos that have like primarily green in them. So this would be like a Christmas tree photo or something outside with grass, something like that. The best Instagram filter for something like this, in my opinion, is this second one called Clarendon, Clarendon, I don't even know. I really just feel like this filter makes the colors all really pop out. And it also really brightens the whites for like a clean, simpler look. So I love this. I don't even feel like I would have to adjust it very much. Like the saturation already looks really great. And my next favorite Instagram filter would be lo-fi, but I just don't like it as much because it doesn't make the colors pop quite as much. I like the brighter look with kind of more of a bluer tone rather than a yellower tone. And with another photo, you can see it just kind of brightens it up, really makes the greens pop, which I really like. And for this type of photo using ViscoCam, I have three favorites. A5 I really like because it kind of just gives it this really warm Christmassy feel. It's kind of like a little bit darker, but you can always adjust the exposure if you want. And then it looks a lot more like Clarendon. God, I wish I knew how to say that. And you can also always raise the saturation. I do think with this one, it looks really good to raise it a little bit and it really makes those reds pop out as well. I also really like the C6 filter because this one primarily focuses on the blues and greens in a photo. This C pack is like very blue and green heavy. So I used these for a lot of my summer photos for my grease photos. And I really just think it gives it a really cool look. And my last and probably favorite is HB2. I use this for all my fall and winter photos. It's very, very neutral. So it kind of works for like any photo, which I just think is really nice because then your feed can all tie together. So this is HB2. If you need, you can always kind of brighten it up a little bit, but I really like the kind of like really contrasty look. You can even add more contrast if you want. And that is exactly like what I would Instagram. Yeah. The next category is photos that have primarily red. So basically me right now. So my favorite filter on Instagram for photos like this is called Perpetua. I like this because it kind of neutralizes the photo. Yes, you want saturation on the reds, but you have to be really careful because your skin tone can also get way too saturated and you can look like a little Oompa Loompa and I don't think you're trying to do that this holiday season. But I will actually show you a tip for how to really easily desaturate skin in a second. And something you can also do on Instagram is add some blue shadows. It'll just make the temperature even cooler than it already is, which I feel like is very Christmassy and kind of holiday-ish with more of the blues rather than like the orange and reds. So even though you're trying to make the red pop because it's like a Christmassy color, I think you still want to like neutralize the photo. And the best app to kind of mimic that same look on ViscoCam is C4. I really like how C4 looks. And if you want the red to pop out even more, cause I see that it kind of makes it a little bit duller. Your best bet honestly is going on an app like Lightroom where you can specifically saturate only one color. So you could just make the red pop more, but nothing else. Or you can simply raise the saturation here. But as you can see, it does make your skin tone a little bit more orange. So I'm going to go ahead and show you right now a really easy trick for getting rid of that. I use Facetune 2 to do this. Basically, once you're in Facetune 2, all you do is click on Retouch and then click on the black and white tool. And then you just wanna zoom in on the photo and obviously it's my skin. My brother's a little more pale, so it works. But on my skin, I look very, very orange. So you kinda wanna color in your entire skin, the part that makes it look orange. And if you drag this little thing back, that's the original, as you can tell. And if you kind of keep going, it'll neutralize your skin just like that. The next category is outdoor or non-winter photos, as I like to call them. 
Here is a lovely photo of me in December in Los Angeles. You wouldn't be able to tell that it is Christmas or the holidays. It kind of just looks like any old photo. So my favorite filter for this one is definitely Lark. All it really did is just brighten it up a tiny bit in terms of the colors. And then I'm actually just going to brighten this photo in general because it is a pretty dull photo. So as you can see, that really helps make it pop even more. And that's honestly all I would do to it. If you really want, you can add some more saturation as well. But really also another cool thing would be using Lightroom and kind of changing those yellows of the leaves to be green it could look a little more holiday-ish but we're getting advanced over here I'm trying to do a basic tutorial here and I also really like the filter crema I think that it again like kind of makes it more blue and more holiday-ish but you do need to raise the brightness a lot and it looks really good over on visco cam the filter c2 also achieves a very similar look c2 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 as you see there it is very similar but i just like this app a lot better and again you can raise the exposure a little bit you can even raise the contrast a little bit more and that is how i like it oh i love this filter but you guys know me and you know what i probably would do to this photo which is hb2 so let's go on over to my best friend hb2 but obviously we need to brighten it way the heck up like way up like that i'm also going to sharpen in it because why not that's what I like to do as well and I'm gonna add a tiny bit more contrast as well and you know what maybe even a little saturation because it is very very dull so that is about my finished photo what I would do to post on my Instagram Does that not look like cute and holiday-ish even though it's like a picture of me outside and the next category is indoor holiday photos or nighttime photos these are the hardest pictures to take in my opinion because you want a really really cute photo but there is horrible lighting and ugh. So my two tips for this are to number one, obviously find the area with the best lighting. That would just be like the most lighting on your face. And secondly, use the flash. Honestly, the flash can actually make a photo look really good. So this picture of my friend Charlotte and I is a really great example of an indoor holiday party photo that actually I think turned out pretty well. And we actually took a bunch of pictures without flash. This is what they looked like, which was awful. And then we took a picture with flash and this is what it looked like. So it totally worked, eliminated all the blues. And basically the filter that I would use for this is the Clarendon thing again. It just kind of brightens it up. I just really like the look of it and it makes kind of that dark background look less dull and boring. And then over on Visco Cam, I would definitely use either HB1 or HB2 for these, whichever your preference is. Again, like I like HB2, but because this picture is pretty dark, maybe HB1 would look better. And yeah, as you can see, it really takes this photo to a new level. I also have this one of us outside, ignore how we look. But again, HB1 and HB2, I think both look very good for this photo. So there you have it. All right, you guys, that is it for the best filters for holiday photos for Instagram on ViscoCam and on Instagram itself. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was my roommate's idea. I really thought it was awesome. Let me know if you guys use any of these filters. I would love to see your photos. You can tag me on Instagram or tweet them at me. And I hope you liked it. Remember to go check out Vlogmas if you want. I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a happy, happy holidays. I'm half Jewish, so happy Hanukkah to all y'all out there too. And I'll see you next time. Bye.